In this video, I show you the world coordinate system of a robot and why it is the most important coordinate system you can use. Have fun! Hi, my name is Werner Hampel. I've been working with robots for more than 30 years and now I show you the most important coordinate system of an industrial robot. Let me please explain uh, why a robot needs a coordinate system. The robot needs a coordinate system to determine where he actually is. Yeah. He needs the coordinates to see where he is located. Okay, let's have a look in our little robot model. Yeah. The origin of the coordinate system, of the world coordinate system, is here axis one in the middle. Yeah. Here starts the robot to count uh, where his actual coordinates are. So here is zero, 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 x zero, y zero, and z zero. And the direction of this coordinate system is when I stand here, like the robot, the cables are in the back, uh, I can use my right hand. This is the right hand rule. And x plus for the robot is in this direction of my index finger, y plus is here and z plus goes to the top. This coordinate system is located down here below. Yeah. It's the origin of the coordinate system. So when I want to move the robot in this direction, in x plus, I have to push x plus button on my teach panel. y plus is in that direction, z plus is on, uh, goes to the top. Yeah. This is very important because uh, you only have two possibilities. If you have a new robot, uh, you can move single axis, I explained that in another video, and the world coordinate system. And this is here located. If you move Z plus, the robot always moves uh, to the top. This is very, very, very important. For example, you have a crash and you don't know where the coordinate systems of this robot are uh, defined. Yeah? You, you use that coordinate system because on every robot it's the same. You, know? you cannot change the world. Yeah? Um, and the world coordinate system means here's the origin. X plus is here, Y plus, Z plus. So if you have a problem with your robot and you don't know uh, how to move the robot, remember the world coordinate system and move the robot into the right direction to move the robot away from, example, from a crash. Yeah. Okay? So let's show this on the real robot how this works. For example, the set. I, I explained it here. If I down here below with axis set on the same level like axis one, okay? And then the set coordinate here is zero. Yeah, it's on the same level uh, like here. And when I move now set plus, for example, one meter, then in the set axis is 1000 millimeters. Yeah. And the robot counts here, ah, I am in set 1000 millimeters. In this case, uh, it's also in x, for example, or this would be one meter in x, one meter in z, and x is y is in the middle. So the coordinates, uh, the robot shows where his axis six here is, is in x 1000, z 1000. When I move down, it's x1000 and z0. When I want to uh, say the robot move to the left, left is that direction, this means y. If I go there, now the coordinates are z0, y is 1000 and x is 1000. Okay? I hope you understand this. I show this uh, on the robot uh, again. Um, if it's not completely clear. So, here is Z0, Z1000, Y0, Y1000. Okay? 
and the robot always counts the difference between axis 6 now and the world coordinate system which is located here. And that's how the robot counts and knows where he is. Simple, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, let's show this on the real robot. To uh, show you what button I push, I use my virtual teach panel uh, where I can control uh, this robot. Okay, let's have a look how the robot shows his own coordinates in his teach panel. So, for that, I go in KUKA on the KUKA sign, which means it opens the main menu. Uh, I go in the house. This is the, the first level of the main menu. I go to display and actual position. And now, when I selected here the world coordinates, I see the difference between here, axis 6, 0, in the middle of axis 6, and the tool, uh, uh, the world coordinate system here. I'll explain here. The difference between here, 0, 0, 0, the world coordinate system, and here, axis 6. This is what it shows us now here as a coordinate. In X, this robot uh, is from here to here 330. In Y minus, you remember, Y plus is in that direction, Y minus is in that direction, is 189. And in Z is that 566 uh, millimeters away from here, down here below. 500 here x 330 here and y minus 189. Let's give it a try. Uh, when, I, when I move the robot, so I move the robot in x minus. That means the robot moves in that direction and have a look what happens here. It shows the coordinate where is now. Now we have 191. I move to plus and the robot moves here to 385 and he always shows the actual coordinates uh, from axis 6 to the middle, this direction. Now I move X, uh, um, coordinate system in Y, Y plus goes in that direction and I see now the values changing to there. When I'm exactly in the middle, it should be zero. Yeah, you see, now I'm exactly in the middle because the coordinate system's origin is exactly here in the middle of axis 1. Y is here. I cannot move down here below to 0 in Z, but I move as much as I can. Uh, just like I, I will show you the robot here. So. Now I move down here. Yeah. Okay, you see it changes the set axis. Now it shows 487. And what does that mean? It does mean here x, x, axis 6, 0, and 2 axis 1, 0 is uh, 487 millimeters. That's how the robot counts. If I go set to plus, for example, 100 millimeters, uh, it counts here always the actual position to that. Okay? Do you understand that? It's very important. Okay, I hope you understand now how this world coordinate system um, works. Yeah. If yes, please uh, give us some uh, up. And uh, if you don't understand, write down a comment below, I will answer it. So, let's give a summary. The robot has a world coordinate system. His origin is here. Uh, its origin is here. And um, the robot shows the coordinate from his actual uh, coordinate system, which is located here, tool zero to his origin, uh, you can see it here in the position data. So I hope 
you have understood what the world coordinate is. So in a summary, the origin of the world coordinate system is here. The robot shows the difference between the world coordinate system in default to the axis six here uh, on, on the tool zero point, yeah. Uh, I showed you how the robot shows the coordinates in this teach panel. And uh, the important thing is, as I showed you in the, in the video uh, before, the single axis move. In the single axis move, you cannot move in a uh, linear mode, in a straight mode. You only can move uh, the axis um, which are rotating. If I want to move the robot a straight line, I need another coordinate system. And the first coordinate system I have is the world coordinate system. In the next videos, I will explain you what coordinate system you else could do. You have to define that. But the world coordinate system is by default in the robot. This is the most important coordinate system when you want to move a robot straight, for example, up, down, left, right, and front or back. I hope that video helped you to understand the most important coordinate system, the world coordinate system. Please remember the right hand rule. Uh, give that video a thumbs up, subscribe the channel, activate the bell, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.